Hey guys, it's your boy Carpenter and I'm there and welcome to this Impact Wrestling Spoilers. If you don't want to know what happened, please X off this video. Because these spoilers, I'm pretty sure, are official. These spoilers come from WrestlingEdge.com. The link will be in the description down below. Okay, I'm going to... So, if you haven't left, then that obviously means you are already know this, or you don't care. Here we go. The full spoilers are, Eric Young beat Jay Bradley. Mickey James came out and attacked O. ODB and then they brawl. Nux beat Chris Sabin via disqualification after Sabin was caught using the, the Ace and Ace signature hammer. Or, even though it was Nux who brought it into the ring. The phenomenal AJ Styles wins the gauntlet match and ends up in the number one position in the final Bound for Glory series ranking. Gunnar and James Storm came out, but Ace and Ace attacked them. A tag team match was is made, and Aces is an Ace get the win after using a weapon while the referee wasn't looking. No Prizes for guessing the weapon was probably the hammer again. AJ Styles comes out and picks his pony for no surrender, the greatest man who ever lived, Austin Aries, and which leaves Magnus to face the if factor of professional wrestling, Bobby Root. And then in a non-title match, now. This confused me. Sting vs. Bully Ray down here is a non-title match. But at the end of last week's Impact Wrestling show, Hulk Hogan said the match between Sting and Bully Ray would be for the World Heavyweight Championship. I don't know where this is after coming from. I'm, I'm very confused. At first, I didn't know how Sting was getting in our time match, and because one, that was like the stipulation that he couldn't get in our time match ever. And then Hulk Hogan just randomly gives him an our time match, and now it's saying he didn't get a title match. So, can he get the another world time match or not? Because it seemed like he was all set for another title match. Anyway, Hulk Hogan made the match a no disqualification match. And he banned the Huntington Beach bad boy and the newest member of Ace and Eight, T.O. Ortiz, from ringside. Why just so Ortiz? I'm not sure. Sting ends up winning the match even after Ace and Eight and his family members, the Man of Mafia, I don't know where that included. AJ Styles or not, I guess we'll have to wait and see. It just says the man from Mafia came out to brawl. After the match, Bully and Mr. Anderson argue over what happened. And then Hulk Hogan announces that it will be that Bully Ray's world title defense at No Surrender will be against. The asshole himself, Mr. Anderson. Anderson. So yeah, Bully Ray will have to take on his Aces Nate's Vice President, Mr. Anderson. And they've not been getting along as of late. Could Mr. Anderson 
turn us all around and become the new World Heavyweight Champion again? And who will win the Bound for Glory series? It's AJ Styles, Magnus, Bobby Roode, or Austin Aries? Leave in the comment section below what you think of the Impact Wrestling Spores. If you didn't click off when I told you, I'm sorry. I warned you. Don't be mad, bro. Like, comment, and subscribe.